This video demonstrates how Kasten's K10 data management platform can be used to backup, restore, and migrate a complex application like GitLab. We begin by showing how K10 can automatically discover and manage all applications without requiring any operator or developer changes. In this case, as the application page shows, we have discovered all of GitLab's stateful and stateless components including all data services such as Postgres and Redis. We will then go and create a policy to protect GitLab. As a part of policy creation, we will begin by giving it a name. We specify the action we want to perform, how often we want to perform that action including sub-hour frequency, the retention period for all your backups, and then we select the application by name, but if needed, we could have used labels too. In this demo, we will protect all application components, but we could have filtered out some of them if it had been required. Everything that you see is powered by an underlying Kubernetes native API, and the dashboard provides a bridge to that. This is the underlying YAML for the policy that was just created, and there are pointers on how to edit this from the command line via Kubernetes tools like kubectl if needed. That is all one needed to do from the policy creation perspective. As you see on the main dashboard, the policy created a backup job that quickly captured all the components of the GitLab application. When we click on the completed backup job, we can see a list of all the artifacts that were generated, including volume snapshots and Kubernetes specs such as config maps, secrets, and services. We will now demonstrate restoring GitLab in case a data corruption had occurred. To perform this action, we go back to the Applications page, select GitLab, and initiate a restore. After selecting a restore point, we could have cloned it for debugging purposes, but we will simply restore it in place for this demo. Once we confirm the restore, the system takes care of all required actions. In particular, it repaves the entire application stack and, in the span of a few minutes, recovers the entire GitLab application. Finally, we will demonstrate migrating GitLab from the source cluster, which is running in Google, to AWS. We manually initiate the restore action, but this could have been done via policy too. After we select the restore point, we pick a pre-configured object storage location that will store the exported GitLab application. Once we confirm the export, we are given a string that will be used to perform a handshake between the source and destination clusters. We copy this string to the clipboard so that we can use this on the destination cluster in a few seconds. Once we return to the dashboard, we see an export job makes GitLab infrastructure independent in just a few minutes. The destination cluster, which is running on AWS, currently does not have GitLab running on it. To bring the version of GitLab that we exported from the source Google cluster, we will create an import policy, give the policy a name, and then select the import action. We also select Restore after import, which will automatically bring the application back up then specify how often we want to check the object storage location for new data, and then use the handshake text we had copied from the source cluster a little while ago. We select another pre-created profile that points to the object storage location that GitLab was exported to. We create the policy and are done at this point in time. When we return to the dashboard, we will observe two jobs being created. The first one is an import job that pulls in all the metadata for GitLab. As soon as that completes the restore job, it is then initiated and it brings the entire GitLab application back up in a couple of minutes. This can be confirmed by going back to the application page. This completes the demo today, but please do visit us at kasten.io for more information. Thank you.